Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Reese News. And the first thing I want to cover isn't Nintendo related, but it is pretty major for the gaming industry. And it's about Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite, but this is still, this still could lead to other things with other games. So basically, Apple removed Fortnite from the App Store on the iPhone and iPad because it was breaking their agreements and stuff like that. So basically, Epic Games was having another service to pay for V-Bucks, the in-game currency in Fortnite. So they, they're doing like their own thing on there and basically Apple doesn't allow that so they removed it from the App Store because I think the only way Apple allows is to pay through Apple so this was completely separate so they just removed it on there since it was breaking their agreements and I feel like Apple's really anti-consumer in that aspect because they basically have a monopoly over a lot of the services that they're showing on their phones and stuff like that because you should be able to pay for like separate things that aren't connected to the app store on there they're completely locking their phone to only pay for things like the apple way and stuff like that and they take a 30 percent cut of whatever their char epic games is charging on there or really anybody's charging on the app store so i don't really think that's right that they removed fortnite i know i don't really like fortnite myself but like other people who do like fortnite who wanted to download it on the phone or update it they can't do that anymore which is unfortunate this might happen to other games in the future because Fortnite's a pretty major game. This could this could potentially happen to like other games like maybe Minecraft or even like another game or something like that if they ever decide to do a separate paying service. So and also like I'm not saying this could happen to any game in specific, but it could definitely happen to more games if they decide to go away from like Apple's way of like charging for things and stuff like that. So that isn't really good that Apple's doing that and they also, Epic Games also made this like video parodying um, Apple's 1984 commercial, um, their Super Bowl commercial from a long time ago, they're just like, they had a parody of that in Fortnite so the go against it and protest and also Epic Games was filing legal action against Apple to try to get their games back on there well fortnite specifically so next up we have a tweet from nintendo which is very similar to the one that was last year with the watermelon and everything like that so this has been sparking a little bit of rumors well i, I wouldn't say a little bit at this point it's probably a lot by now since this was up this was posted yesterday and he kind of seems like he's in that sunshine mood again. People are kind of thinking it's leaning towards the Mario remasters. Since last year on that post, I'm not sure if the last year's post meant anything. Unless it's actually like the... If, unless they're like using the same render of Mario. Could it potentially mean like a sunshine remake along with the 64 and Galaxy ones? I don't know. This might be just a thing to say like happy summer to everyone since it's like august and everything like that nintendo likes to do the happy summer stuff so i'm not sure but it definitely is a newer render of mario and i don't know it, it could possibly mean something like it might be i don't know if it's hinting or not at anything but possibly i i don't know like i don't want to look too deep into this but i know nintendo is definitely going to announce something soon i'm I'm hoping the Mario remasters are still true. That would be really nice if that actually came out on the Switch. That would be a good game for 2020 that kind of fill in the gaps for a lot of other games that might have been delayed. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.